Eight common diabetes signs on the skin you should know. The skin often acts as a window to our internal health, reflecting imbalances and conditions within our body. For individuals with diabetes, certain skin changes can be the first indicators of the disease or its poor management. Recognizing these eight diabetes-related skin signs can be pivotal not only in early detection, but also in monitoring and managing the condition more effectively. Educate yourself to stay one step ahead in your health journey. Number 1. Acanthosis nigricans. Acanthosis nigricans is a skin condition characterized by dark velvety patches that often appear in skin folds, such as the neck, armpits, and groin. Though it can be seen in individuals without diabetes, its prevalence is notably higher among those with insulin resistance. The condition is an outward sign of the body's struggle to use insulin effectively. When insulin levels surge, skin cells may proliferate rapidly, leading to the thick and darkened patches characteristic of acanthosis nigricans. Recognizing this skin change can be a wake-up call. Addressing underlying insulin resistance through dietary changes, weight management, and medical intervention can not only improve skin appearance, but also address the root cause of the problem, impaired glucose metabolism. Number 2. Diabetic Dermopathy As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Diabetic Dermopathy, often referred to as shin spots presents as light brown scaly patches typically found on the shins but can also appear on the arms, thighs, and other areas. These patches are round or oval and can look like age spots. They are a result of changes in small blood vessels beneath the skin, often due to diabetes-related vascular complications. While they are painless and do not itch or open up, their presence can indicate that one's diabetes is not well managed or has been present for a considerable length of time. Monitoring and controlling blood sugar levels is essential. Although these patches are harmless and do not require treatment, addressing the underlying diabetes can prevent the progression of such signs and other complications. Number 3. Infections Infections are more prevalent in individuals with diabetes due to a compromised immune system and decreased blood flow, which can affect the skin's ability to heal. High blood sugar provides an ideal environment for bacteria and fungi to flourish. As a result, diabetics might experience frequent bouts of bacterial infections like boils, styes, and carbuncles. Fungal infections like athlete's foot, ringworm, and jock itch can also be more prevalent. These infections present as itchy rashes, often with redness, swelling, and sometimes pus-filled blisters. Recognizing and treating skin infections promptly is crucial for diabetics. Good skin care, maintaining optimal blood sugar levels, and seeking early medical intervention for suspicious skin changes can help prevent severe complications. Number four, allergic reactions. Allergic reactions on the skin are not exclusive to diabetics, but can be more pronounced due to the body's altered response mechanisms. People with diabetes might experience exacerbated allergic reactions to medications, insulin, or diabetes-related supplies like adhesive patches or glucose monitoring tools. These reactions often manifest as redness, swelling, itching, or raised welts at the site of contact. Over time, untreated high blood sugar can make the skin more susceptible to these reactions. It's essential for diabetics to be observant of any skin changes, especially after introducing new medications or supplies. If an allergic reaction is suspected, consulting with a healthcare provider to discuss alternatives or remedies is crucial. Regular skin checks and proper skincare can aid in early detection and management. Number 5. Bullosis diabeticorum. Bullosis diabeticorum, also known as diabetic blisters, is a skin condition exclusive to individuals with diabetes. These blisters can appear suddenly on the hands, feet, fingers, toes, or forearms. They are often large, painless, and have a clear sterile liquid inside. The exact cause remains unknown. 
but they're believed to manifest in diabetic patients with neuropathy or those experiencing fluctuating glucose levels. Though they resemble burn blisters, there's no preceding injury or redness around them. Fortunately, they are benign and often resolve without intervention within a few weeks. However, to prevent secondary infections, it's vital for diabetics to maintain good skin care, avoid puncturing the blisters, and monitor for any signs of complications. If unsure or concerned, consulting a dermatologist is advisable. Number 6. Necrobiosis Lipoidica Diabeticorum, NLD. NLD is a skin condition commonly associated with diabetes, although its exact cause remains elusive. It manifests as raised reddish-brown patches that over time may evolve into shiny plaques with a yellowish hue and a thin-skinned surface. These patches are usually seen on the shins but can appear elsewhere. The skin at the center of these patches may become fragile, leading to potential ulceration. While NLD is more common in people with diabetes, it can also affect those without the condition. The appearance of NLD often precedes diabetes diagnosis, serving as a potential early skin marker. Early detection and treatment, which may include corticosteroids or other medications, can help manage and limit its progression. Regular skin care and protection against injury are essential for those with NLD. Number 7. Digital Sclerosis Digital sclerosis is a skin condition prominently linked with diabetes specifically type 1. It is characterized by the skin on the back of the hands, feet, and even the face becoming thick, waxy, and tight. The affected joints may become stiff which can limit their movement, particularly in the fingers. This tightness often gives the skin a shiny appearance. While the exact cause of digital sclerosis remains unknown, maintaining good blood sugar control seems to alleviate the severity. It's imperative for individuals with diabetes to be aware of such changes in their skin texture, as early identification and intervention can help manage the condition. Moisturizing regularly and focusing on optimal blood sugar management are key strategies to counteract and prevent its progression. Number 8. Poor Circulation and Peripheral Vascular Disease Poor circulation and peripheral vascular disease, PVD, are common complications of diabetes, and their effects are often manifested on the skin. In individuals with diabetes, high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels, leading to reduced blood flow, especially to the extremities like the legs and feet. This impaired circulation can cause the skin to become pale, cool to the touch, and deprived of essential nutrients, often leading to dryness or discoloration. PVD intensifies this, with narrowed blood vessels further restricting blood flow. Warning signs might include pain during walking, non-healing sores, or changes in skin color. It's crucial for diabetics to recognize these signs early. Regular foot examinations, maintaining optimal blood sugar levels, and wearing protective footwear can help in preventing severe complications from poor circulation and PVD. Diabetes often manifests on the skin, with signs ranging from darkened patches to persistent sores. Recognizing these early indicators can lead to timely intervention, preventing severe complications. Being vigilant about such skin changes is essential for those with diabetes to ensure better health outcomes. You might also want to watch this video for other diabetes signs you should know. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.